Hey guys, and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm gonna to be running you through my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, the five products that I received for the month of July. If you've never seen an Ipsy Glam Bag video on my channel or any kind of Ipsy bag, I pay $25 a month to receive five full-size products. This is how much this bag retails for this month, but do keep in mind, again, I only paid $25. I am incorporating a lot of my summertime staples. These are a lot of products that I have been leaving down the shore because Mike and I do spend the majority of our weekends here, and the weekend is really when I sit down and just like, play with the makeup and it's important for me for that makeup to be good it needs to be something that i can wear to a wedding while also something that i can wear to like the beach bar and you know just like summertime comfortable makeup nothing too thick nothing too heavy so i'm showing you guys a lot of my summertime staples in this video so quick and friendly reminder before we get into it be sure to subscribe if you have not done so yet and while you're there be sure to click that bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is i'm uploading a new video here on my channel i have a lot of really really great videos coming best of the best mascaras best of the best bh cosmetics what i would spend my money on what i wouldn't spend my money on but be sure that bell is rung so without further ado let's stop babbling and let's get on to my ipsy glam bag plus plus my summer staple beauty products video here we are we are back at the shore house and i'm so excited because on our way here um, the UPS guy showed up and handed me, well, handed Mike the Ipsy bag as we were getting in the car to drive down here. So I'm super excited to try out these products. I'm not going to lie, I did use some of them yesterday. So I will tell you about my experience. This is not a first impressions for all of them. I washed my face using the Fresh Rose Facial Cleanser. I used the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. I ragged on this a little bit when I actually was here and used it on my face for the first time. And honestly, it's been my moisturizer since I I tried it. I did get a brightening eye cream, which I'm super excited to try. This is the Gold Fade and MD Solution Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate with Soy Peptide. My dark circles have definitely gotten worse lately. One drop on fingertip and gently pat around the eye area on cleansed skin. I'm gonna split it between my two fingers and I'm just gonna hydrate the eyeballs. And kind of just like patting. I don't want to pull the skin around my eye too much because your skin is really delicate. This cream is rather thick. I have not used this. I did not use this last night. This is a little thick, which is good for me because I have dry eyes. Not so good when I'm going to probably eat dinner outside and it's going to be humid. I don't want like too many thick layers, especially of moisturizer, but y'all know I got dry eyes. So but it does feel nice. It doesn't really smell like much. It just smells like very clean. It is kind of tingling a little bit, so that leads me to believe that something's happening, like maybe something is working. But let's move on to another product that I did receive in my Ipsy bag. This is the LXMI Pure Nilotica Melt. It's kind of a balm to oil nourishing balm, so that kind of makes me think of like a Vaseline. I'm going to go ahead and put this on my lips. I would use this all over my face, but that's something that I would definitely do maybe before going to bed. I would kind of use this as like an overnight mask because a balm sounds very heavy and thick, especially an oil-based balm. Oh yeah, super oily and really thin, but you do not want to put makeup on over this. Like this would just, your all of your makeup would just move if you were to put makeup over this. So just a little hydration, it feels really nice on the lips. Not as thick as I like my lip products to be. I did not receive any foundation, so I'm gonna be using some of my go-to products that I've been using a lot this summer. Just because they're lightweight, they don't really move around on me, they don't make me hot, and they're not uncomfortable. I like light layers. You guys all know I sweat a ton, and I really sweat in the summer like everything it's like i get hot flashes constantly anything light i've been using so if you're that kind of person or you just want makeup that's really good for like a hot summer day when you just you know maybe you're going to a barbecue you want to look good put together but comfortable these are your products right here i love summer okay so i love this i played with this last night huda beauty 3d highlighter palette it has bronzer, highlighter, a bronzy blush, and it also has a cream that you use to brighten up the highest points of your cheeks, the highest points of your face. We're gonna get all into this. So this is just a multifaceted palette. I feel like this is wonderful for traveling. This would be really good for makeup artists. I just really enjoy this product. If you guys watched my last Huda Beauty video where I reviewed her eyeshadow pens, I really didn't like them. So I was really nervous to try another Huda Beauty 
product and talk about it on my channel just because I don't want to seem negative and I don't want to talk poorly about things, but you guys know I tell you how it is, so I'm going to tell you how it is. But I actually really, really enjoy this. I could see myself using this a lot. Hop into Barbados, which is this creamy highlighter shade. I'm going to take that on my finger and I'm just going to put this like on the highest points of my cheeks. Now it's gonna look a little crazy, but we're gonna go over everything with foundation. This is just gonna give us like a glow from within bronzy vibe. I did do this yesterday. I know you're probably thinking like, oh my God, what is she doing? Just take it on your finger and the warmth of your finger is really gonna melt that highlighter into the skin. The brow bone, like right where you would put highlighter. Anywhere that you wanna bring forward, that's where you wanna put it. I'm gonna put some down the bridge of my nose. Maybe like on my cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin. I'm gonna be taking a beauty sponge. I did not receive this in my Ipsy bag, nor did I receive this, but this is just a beauty sponge from Real Techniques, and this is my Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. This beauty sponge is damp, so I'm gonna go ahead and just poke it into the foundation and just pat this all over my face. This is a beautiful cushion foundation, great for traveling with, especially, you know, liquids are hard because they can break. A lot of them come in glass bottles. So perfect for traveling. I love a good juicy cushion foundation. It's just so good and it's so convenient. And I'm gonna bring it down my neck. It's cause you don't want that demarcation line. You want your neck and your face to match. And you definitely need to be a little bit more wary in the summertime, especially if you're someone that doesn't, if you self tan and you don't tan your face. I'm the kind of person where I hide my face from the sun most of the time. Honestly, there's nothing worse than spending an hour or so on your makeup, looking totally glam, like taking pictures, but then you get in the car, check the mirror in the car, and all you see is like foundation and then like skin. It's like, no. Blend it down, girl. Even I do it. Like I'll leave the house in a rush and like forget to blend out my neck and like not realize that it's such a different color than the rest of my face. I do it all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and take my all time favorite concealer, at least at the moment. This is the Koki Professional Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. For banana powder, I did not receive this in my Ipsy bag, but you guys know I love this. It does a really great job of brightening my under eyes, especially with those bags. I'm gonna be using a small brush. This is just a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH31. You can just use a blending brush. This is for eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna make sure there's no creases underneath my eyes before I go ahead and set them. But my skin is just like very dry in the summer. I just like to focus the powder where I really need it because my skin gets super dry from the sun. So I don't wanna to apply too much powder, but I am gonna set underneath the eye, set the top of the lid, go around my nose, because I hate when I get shiny like right here, and especially like near my smile lines, I hate that. I don't like getting shiny on my chin. This is just precisely applying this where we need a little bit of oil control. What about Joa? Precision Brow Pencil, and I'm in the shade Brunette. Again, I did not get this in my Ipsy bag, so I'm gonna try and power through this a little bit more quickly. Eyebrows look a little crazy, but yesterday I did a full face of makeup and didn't do my eyebrows, and that looked even crazier, so I'm not gonna be too picky today. But I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows using my Hourglass Arch Brow Shaping Gel, and this is just a clear brow gel. Just because I want them to look natural, not too overdone, especially in the summer, because I just wanna look like naturally put together and just like glowy. I am gonna hop into Aruba, which is the bronzer shade, picking that up on just a small Japanese brush, and I'm just gonna brontour, which is contouring with bronzer. I'm gonna look to the top of my ear and just draw down to just contour a little bit. And this did go on kind of patchy yesterday. You just need to like really work your brush and you really need to blend it in. That's the only thing. You need a little bit of time with this palette. You just need to like work this bronzer into the face and I do kind of bring it up onto the apples of my cheeks as well and then bring it back.
I love it. Like I just love the bronze that it gives. So, so pretty. And I am gonna go ahead and contour my nose just a little bit with this. This is a little bit leaning orange for me for a good nose contour, but I am gonna use it just because why not? I'll show you guys. Highlighting brush, just a flat, fluffy brush, kind of. And I'm gonna hop into Maldives and just pop this on the highest points of my face. If I was pale, I could not wear this highlighter, but it's just like so pretty. Can you see how pretty that is? Oh, it's so nice. I just like really like this palette. I think I'm just a little too pale to wear this palette for most of the year, but I would totally wear this in the summer. I would recommend this for any of you out there who have deeper skin than me. I want a little bit more of that effect, so I'm gonna hop in with my beauty sponge, grab that shade, and just tap it and blend it into the skin. Oh, it's just like so freaking pretty. It's so pretty. And I'm bringing it underneath the brow bone put Barbados down. So I'm gonna use this as like a base, even though I did tell you guys that I prime my eyes before with the concealer. I'm just gonna apply this like you would a cream shadow. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And it's kind of like blending in with the highlight, which I think is so beautiful. And I feel like very editorial and super trendy right now. I'm kind of just getting it everywhere. I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm gonna hop in to Aruba, which is that bronzer shade, just to give a little bit of dimension in the crease. And then that might literally be it. I'm focusing right here on that outer crease and then bringing it in. I'm kind of like flipping it up to give like a little bit of like a feline effect. I'm gonna put some underneath the eye as well. Wow, that's really nice. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. been liking to connect my crease with my nose contour. I feel like it really helps to sculpt the face. The Maldives, which is a highlighter powder. This is the powder, not the cream we just used. And I'm gonna stamp that on the inner corner of the eye. It's not like the kind of pop I was hoping for, but it does like go with the eye look, obviously. I'm gonna hop into my Anastasia and Resi highlighter just because this does not ever fail as an inner corner, and I'm just gonna do the same thing, but with this. Yeah, that just has like that super pop that I want. And I'm bringing the highlighter on the bottom corner into where that bronzer connects under the eye. If you don't have the Anastasia, just take some of that Maldives that you got in your Ipsy bag and just bring it underneath the brow bone. I'm gonna take Bora Bora, which is this deep blush, and I'm just stamping that over the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna put it over my nose. Put some on my chin. Maldives, and I'm just gonna hit that down my nose. And a little bit between the brows. And at the end, it's just like that. Super bronzed, glowy. And now we're just gonna get even more glowier because I'm gonna go ahead and use the Pixie. This is their Skin Treats Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil Nourishing Mist. This is a little thick for my liking. I did use this yesterday, a little bit oily. Your skin's gonna take some time to absorb this. And if you're gonna be outside, it's a hot, long day. You're gonna be outside at barbecue. Like, I don't recommend this. This is not like a long lasting mist. I would recommend the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, Urban Decay All Nighter. Have used that, loved it, tried and true. Maybe try one of those. Don't necessarily try this one. I'm doing it for the video. Just make sure you mix it up. That was a lot of spray, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hop into my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna pat the setting spray into my skin. This is just gonna help mix all of your makeup together. Just a light pat, making it blend really nicely, looking a little bit more natural and just like an overall nice dewy, but it's not sitting on the skin. It doesn't look too oily. It's becoming one with your face kind of glow. I like a good stamp of a sponge over everything. 
Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. I'm a really big fan of this mascara. I do like it. I used it yesterday and it impressed me, seriously. Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler, my trusty Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler. It's called Bryn, B-R-Y-N-N, -N, which is a rich black mascara. And I love this wand. It honestly reminds me a lot of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara, like literally pretty much identical wand. I don't have that one with me. If I did, I would totally compare the two because I feel like they're definitely similar, but that one is at home. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna coat the lashes, but I like this mascara. It doesn't go on too clumpy. Some new mascaras, they just pick up so much mascara and it's so wet and it just gets everywhere. I wouldn't layer it too much. Yesterday I layered it a few times and it got a little chunky monkey on me. They're so long, they're so nice, and I do like myself a spidery lash. And like you can layer it, like you saw, I just did put a little bit more. I just wouldn't dip it in and then layer it because that's where you come in. That's when the chunkiness comes into play. Like just dip it once and use what's on the wand and build on that. For lips, I'm just gonna throw on my summertime lip gloss. I love Fenty Beauty. This is just the OG Fenty Glow lip gloss. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look. Definitely something that I would rock and will rock for the remainder of the summer. I love the eyes. I feel like they're just, you know, smoky but sexy. I like this shade right here to meet and sculpt the nose. It's kind of just been my vibe lately. Love a good gloss. I love how this makeup goes with my outfit. It took me a minimal amount of time and I didn't have to use eyeliner. So all things I am for, especially when I find a really nice mascara that I do enjoy. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a best of the best, my favorite of favorite all time mascaras. I've been trying a lot of mascaras last few months because I did grow my lashes using the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost Serum. And if you are a finder, you would have heard me say several times before the summer that I just wanted to have long lashes, bushy brows, and a nice juicy lip for the summer. So that has been my goal. I've been testing a lot and I have some puppies that I am such a big fan of. So do be sure to click that bell button. This way you get a notification when my best of the best mascara video does go live. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what do you think about today's makeup look? What do you think about these Ipsy Glam Bag products? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. I can't wait. I really cannot wait to go out and rock this look. I am loving it. Summer is in full swing. It is my favorite season and I'm down the shore once again with Miguel. If you didn't check out our vlog, our vlog went live. We drank around the world at Epcot, highly entertaining. I will link that down below for your absolute viewing pleasure. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time as always and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.